Hey everybody, it's Aaron, and welcome back to the house of Aaron. <laughs> Welcome back to the house where we talk news, celebrities, and hot topics. I am super excited to be with you guys on this Saturday night. You guys, I'm coming to you with a weekend edition of House Call because we got some things to get into. So first things first, our cover story, blogger Tasha K is admitting to spilling fake tea about Pastor Dollar. All right, and we're gonna get into it because it's a really interesting story. And then also she's beefing with this other blogger. We're gonna get into some things when it comes to that because it actually prompted Tasha K to release information about her income, okay? And we got the receipts. And then also we're gonna talk about $69.99, Takashi 69 coming for the queen, Nicki Minaj. Why everybody wants to come for her, we don't know why, okay? Nicki literally does nothing but charity work for all you bum ass rappers and this is what she she gets in return you coming for her we're gonna get into it if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel if you haven't already and let's get straight into the video so we are just going to get straight into the meat and potatoes of the video first things first tasha k okay blogger unwind with tasha k is admitting to spilling fake tea so about uh, a day ago okay i believe this happened last night Tasha did a video and her main cover story was, um, I guess, exposing this alleged affair that Pastor Creflo Dollar from Atlanta, Georgia was having with some random man in a random hotel room, all right? And so we knew that she was coming out with this information on Pastor Dollar based off of the fact that she posted some article or headline in her Patreon page, okay? So apparently, um, Tasha made a Patreon, okay? And she puts these random tidbits into her Patreon that she doesn't necessarily wanna talk about on her show, okay? These are things that she can't verify, that she can't confirm, that she doesn't have legitimate sources for, and so she just throws it onto her Patreon page so that the people that wanna give her money every month can sip on fake tea all day. Well, she actually admitted to this in the video or live stream that she did last night. And so I wrote a summary of the whole situation that I am um, gonna break down to you guys. So first things first, I was actually intrigued by this story because uh, quiet as it's kept, I am a member of World Changers Church, okay, international. I have not been in a really long time because, you know, coronavirus, but I am a member of Pastor Dollar's Church, so that is what made me, you know, raise my, you know, ears. I was like, Pastor Dollar? Creflo Dollar? Like, what? what's what's the tea, Tasha? Okay, you guys know that she had the tea on Pastor uh, John Gray. You know that bloggers left and right have been exposing Pastor Jamal Bryant over there at New Birth Missionary Baptist Church. So I said, you know what? I actually want to hear the tea on Pastor Dollar because I don't put nothing past anybody. I don't care if you're my pastor. Okay, my best friend, my mama, my daddy, my ball headed granny, you don't put nothing past nobody. Anybody is liable to be doing some crazy shit behind closed doors. So Pastor Dollar um, allegedly sent his lawyers, according to Tasha K, to come after Tasha before she did her live last night based off of the information that she put, okay, the unverified information that she put on her Patreon. Apparently, Pastor Dollar likes men. Okay, according to this made up tea that she put in her uh, Patreon. Um, and apparently he hooked up with some guy in a hotel room and took the D for four hours straight. Okay, so that was the false fake tea that Tasha K put into her Patreon. Do I necessarily believe that this is true? No, but I'll tell you why in a second. So Tasha on her live last night admitted that she did not know if the information was true or not. Like I said before, everything that's unverified, everything that's unconfirmed, everything that doesn't have legitimate actual sources go on to her Patreon for her people to eat it all up. So then Pastor Dollar, apparently according to Tasha K, Pastor Dollar paid somebody to subscribe to Tasha K's Patreon to view what she posted about him. And after they got the information, after they saw it on Tasha's Patreon, Pastor sent his people to send Tasha K a cease and desist for trademark infringement and slander, okay? So let me stop it right there and I'm gonna break it even more down for you just in case you don't understand. So basically Tasha put this information about Pastor Dollar having some type of an affair with a young man. Apparently the pastor took D for four hours straight. 
uh, it sounds just fake. It sounds salacious. It sounds very malicious. And it's just, it's, it's just out of this world, okay? She couldn't verify it. She put it in her thing. So the pastor came after her, sending her a cease and desist, allegedly. The guy that supposedly was in the hotel room with the pastor, okay, went to Facebook and said that Tasha is lying about this whole story and she needed to stop speaking on him, okay, and his pastor. So fast forward to the live that Tasha did last night. Tasha is now questioning um, the whole story and she feels like where there's smoke, there's fire because if it wasn't true, one, why would the guy, why would he admit to it? Because supposedly there was no information out about him except for his first name. So Tasha's whole thing is, why would you admit that this story is about you when there's only a first name and Pastor Creflo Dollar's congregation is compiled of thousands of people? So why would you admit to it so at this point she's like where there's smoke there's fire where there's smoke there's fire but at the same time tasha you're wrong okay you are wrong you are wrong it is slanderous it's defamation and i believe unless i get some more evidence right now i believe that the t is false okay it is false t one because there is no evidence two because there are no verifiable facts three there are no verifiable um confirmed sources that you have put out there on the line um for us to know that this tea is actually real and then three we know it's false because you put it in patreon in the first place if it was actual real verifiable tea you would have put it on your actual YouTube video. So Tasha claims that the only reason why she came out and did a live on it is because Pastor Dollar sent his lawyers out and put out a cease and desist against her ass, which I would have did the same thing too. Um, she's claiming that, you know, they can't really sue her for defamation or slander because she didn't say anything. All she did was repost something that she was sent. But honey, when you are a part of the problem, which is spreading false information, you can be liable in court. And, uh, you know, Tasha took it down on Patreon and then she said, well, her lawyer told her to put it back up because she ain't do nothing wrong. And my whole thing is, baby girl, your lawyer is giving you really bad advice and it's telling you to do things that are against the law so that you continue to pay her because you're just less than smart. All right. And so my whole thing is this thing about spreading and reposting false information and false tea. To me, spreading around things that are alleged is not a bad thing, okay? If you wanna say allegedly this happened and allegedly that happened, then that's fine because you cannot confirm and verify every piece of information. You just can't, okay? That's just the name of the game. But at the end of the day, you get into that defamatory and slanderous ballpark when you go around posting unverified information about someone's sexuality, about someone's sex life, and information that could possibly ruin someone's reputation, image, and or business. And so I feel like if it's going to ruin someone's reputation and you cannot verify the facts, why are you reposting it? I don't have an issue with allegedly this, allegedly that. I have an issue with you putting out information that is so damaging that it could ruin any type of business deal or anything that he got going on inside the church. So I definitely want to get you guys' take on the whole situation. First off, do you believe the information that Tasha K put in her Patreon, okay? Hopefully I explained everything because it kind of was a lot, but I feel like I broke it down into the most simplest terms. And then also, I just want to know, like, how do you feel about bloggers um, and how they go about reposting and sharing certain misinformation, whether it's true or false? OK, let me know down in the comments. Now, speaking of Tasha K, Tasha K has been in a beef. All right. We switching gears here. She's been in a beef with another blogger, another YouTuber. He goes by the name of Armand Wiggins. I have reported on their beef multiple times on this channel, and I haven't posted anything about them recently because I feel like one is childish two is old and stale three um i be trying not to talk about bloggers and people who do the same thing as me you know what i'm saying um but it's kind of hard when y'all just sticking y'all necks out there like this tasha k was posting one of her mentees 
um, income, okay? So she mentors this young man who is also on YouTube um, and she posted his income, okay? He was making 10,000 a month, 10 bands a month, all right? Which is amazing, it's great. Hopefully I can get to that level one day, okay? God willing. Now, with that being said, Armand Wiggins, who was another blogger, took that piece of information and took it personal, okay? He took it as, you are showing this man's income so that I show my income, all right? And Armand basically said, that ain't gonna work, Tasha, okay? If you want me to show my income, you're gonna have to show your income. I need to see your shit so that I'll post my shit. Hopefully you guys are getting my drift. With that being said, Tasha took him up on his offer and she decided to release information about the money that she makes. So she posted one source of income, which would be YouTube, which would be AdSense. And supposedly, I'll try to put the screenshots if I can find them right here. She makes $31,000 a month, okay? Well, this was, I believe, in one month. I believe this was August 2020 where she made uh, over $31,000, right? And I just thought that that was really interesting how Armand made her post how much she makes, which one is really tacky, it's really ugly, it ain't cute, okay? Have some decorum about yourself, have some class about yourself, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that posting your income is classless, but it's just like, posting your income to try to one up somebody or try to make it seem like you're better than someone is classless. All right. That's just not cute. The fact that this blogger, Armand, who, who has not as many followers as Tasha, can make her release information about her income says a lot about her. All right. Her posting salacious information to her Patreon says a lot about her. Okay. Now, I'm not going to say nothing else about it. I'm gonna let y'all come up with your own conclusions. Definitely let me know how you feel about the entire situation down below. Okay, last but not least, um, this isn't really much, but I did wanna speak on it, $69.99, okay, versus Nicki Minaj. He was doing an interview. He has this album that came out recently. I forgot the name of the album. I'm sure it'll go number one um, and then fall off to number 56 the next week. Uh, with that being said, the reporter basically asked him during the interview, how do you feel about Nicki Minaj, you know, being on your record and helping you get to number one? And Takashi did not like that, okay? He basically said, hold up now, okay? Hold up, Holiday. Nicki Minaj did not help me do shit. And when is the last time Nicki Minaj had a solo number one? All right, check this clip out. He also said, but you had Nicki to, to, to help you catapult. Okay, so Carl, let me ask you something. And Nikki's my sister. I love that girl to death. When has Nikki ever had a number one till this date? Say so. No, 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 no. You talking about solo? You talking about solo? No, 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 no. So first of all, I don't like this. Okay, I don't like this at all, and I will tell you why. First off, sixty nine. How is you? gonna ask when is the last time Nicki Minaj had a solo number one when you okay you yourself have never had a solo number one y'all both needed each other all right 69 69 needed Nicki and Nicki needed 69 and together they collabed and created a number one okay but since then Nicki Minaj has collabed with somebody else and also got a number one okay so at the end of the day you needed Nicki just as much as Nicki needed you all right, so I don't like the fact that you're coming for her. And I just feel like Nicki Minaj, she's such an easy target for all of these rappers to go after. I mean, you had Usher, you had Claudia and Lisa Ray, okay? You've had Remy Ma and Kim, you've had Cardi B and Dream Doll, you've had Mariah Lynn and everybody else from Love and Hip Hop, Erica Mena, Safari. I mean, every single person in the hip hop industry has come after. Nicki Minaj, including the commentators, Charlemagne, Envy, uh, goddamn Joe Budden, everybody. And the fact that y'all continue to tear this woman down when she continues to do charity work is just a mess. Because Nicki Minaj don't have to get on the track with 69. Nicki Minaj doesn't have to get on a track with YBN and YFN and Lil This and Lil That and Young Rich This. She don't have to do that. So the fact that y'all really trying to play her right now, like she ain't never did nothing for the industry, I think is just real lame. So Takashi and my book is officially canceled. We don't care, we don't want it. All right, so I definitely want to know what you guys think about everything we talked about today, um, especially the Tasha K drama. Like, girl, what is you doing? What is you doing? Let me know how you feel about the false tea that she's dropping. Um, 
And um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow with an all new video. If you like this one, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys later. Uh, love you guys. Don't forget to create a great day. Bye.